Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron, and on this channel, we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, DeFi, and price. And today, guys, we are going to check out the very newly launched Vila Beta. So we're going to get in there. We're going to. I'm going to show you what I've been up to. I'm going to uh, show you a quick trade and show you how that works. And so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to show you my screen here. <clears throat> when you jump into uh, Vila, you do have to uh, do a little bit of KYC. You send an email and uh, your phone number with country code so they can uh, track who's using the platform. Wouldn't be too worried about it. They're not doing a full KYC. You know, you don't have to show your driver's license or anything like that or passport or what have you. So um, here is... I believe what you see right away when you get in is this screen and then um, what I went right away to do is mint now. Unfortunately, this is closed. Um, the uh, <clears throat> the uh, Hyper Vila rewards, well, I got in at tier five, so I am making 78% or 78.9% um, APR in uh, Vila rewards. I um, What you do is you were able to uh, buy some V... Uh, VLP, which is kind of their LP token um, related to the dollar, and then you get some Vila in return, so which is their their token. So there will be a Vila token airdropped at some point. I've got uh, some um, USDC that I'm going to put in here, and uh, we're going to do some trading in a second. But I did get um, $1,600 in here USDC to uh, to contribute to the uh, the tier system, the Hyper v VLP rewards. And I will be getting some uh, vested Vila at some point here. Um, I think there's a cooldown of like three days before I can take any money out. And if I leave it in, I'll get all of that vested Vila um, in 12 months, which we'll see if I last that long in here. We'll see uh, how things go. Vila, if you aren't familiar, is very, very similar to the other Arbitrum uh, Perpetuals uh, Dex. They're calling it a Perpetuals Dex. Really, it's a trading platform. Um, with uh, with you know you can long you can short you can uh, do some leverage trading and uh, be careful out there guys I, this is not financial advice at all in fact I'm uh, a little squeamish myself about putting a lot of uh, assets into a uh, leveraged trade I am a trader I do uh, I do have experience in stock trading margin trading on top of that so it was leveraged and uh, did fairly well in it um, but um, be careful out there. Um, you can get wrecked pretty easily, and I don't. Uh, I don't think this is for everybody. In fact, it's very similar to uh, playing the odds at a casino. In in my experience, you uh, just don't know how the market is going to react, and so be be super careful out there, especially if you're new to this. Um, I'm gonna play with uh, thirty dollars USDC, um, as I am not afraid to lose that much money for the sake of. Um, just trying this out. So it is in beta. Um, things were moving pretty slow yesterday. Things are feeling a lot more snappy today. I know the team over the uh, last 24 hours were working super hard as uh, many, many people have been in to the, uh, to the public beta now. Uh, there was a closed beta for um, OG users in the Discord and some um, <clears throat> early investors, but now it is completely open and uh, we are able to get in um, it looks like there may be some uh, VLP rewards still available. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case, but uh, it looks, oh, it is closed. It says closed. So um, let's get into uh, the trading section. This is what the trading platform looks like. I believe the only asset that you can deposit right now is USDC. So let's, let's put in <clears throat> the max. Why not? I've got $30.50. Approve that with my MetaMask here and Trezor, of course. Again, guys, if you're not using a Trezor, uh, your MetaMask is um, open to hacking pretty easily, so be careful out there. Um, I recommend if you've got any more than $1,000 worth of crypto in your MetaMask, <clears throat> invest in a Trezor. There will be a link in the description below if you want to pick one of those up. All right, so we're back, and I was able to get uh, $30 of USDC into the platform, um, and I can now trade if I'd like to. Now, the ETH to USD, uh, there are, you know, these are the different um, 
uh, tokens that you can currently trade. So I'm going to trade in Ethereum because that is what we love to do here. So um, I'm tempted to do a long trade right here on the uh, the platform. Okay, so I do have uh, some collateral. So I'll, okay, so I got to put it in here. That's what it is, right at the top there. Um, I wish there was a max button. Is there a max button? Let's see if I can just hit 100% here. I'm going to do 100. Can we type in 100? Yes, perfect. All right, let's go 10x leverage. Uh, liquidation price, if I was to go long. But let's let's look at the charts real quick. <clears throat> All right, we are looking at money still flowing out of Ethereum. I do expect us to at least drop to 1500. Now, um, let's look at where's Bitcoin at? Bitcoin's right there at the top of possible support, but I do think we'll we're still have some room to travel down. Um, I do expect us to get at least down to 21,350. Um, you know, the trend exhaustion is really low and money flow is pretty low. Um, overall markets are trading down a little bit today, but we've already gone down a little bit today too. So I don't know, we could, we could bounce up. Let's go back into Vila. Um, honestly, my, my indicators are telling me that we're likely to go back up from here. All right, so we ended up getting into a position. I actually decided to go long rather than short. And looks like right now I don't have a position, but it did confirm that I put in for a, a position. So let's see if that shows up here. <clears throat> All right, we do have a long position open. 10x long, $30. Liquidation price is $13.98. And... Uh, Average entries at 15.37, and uh, we'll see what happens. So that is how trading works. I believe there is a there's probably a way to um, let's see if we can put in a stop loss, add to position, edit, uh, add trailing stop. It's not a bad idea. That's cool. Um, let's see what add to position looks like um, just adds more uh, more capital it looks like there <clears throat> stop loss take profit add stop loss okay these are cool so let's put this in uh, trigger price let's put a stop loss in at trigger price at Let's see if it goes to 1500, we're just gonna stop out. All right, that'll be um, essentially $30 under. Let's, let's go exactly $30 under. So uh, 1507 or 15, let's go 15, 1540. It has to be below then current mark, right? Okay, so that, that doesn't work. So I'm sorry, 15, not 1540, 1510. Let's make a stop loss at 1510 and we'll stop out 100%. I'd make a, I'd have a loss of $5. Not too bad. <laughs> so let's go even lower than that. So let's go to 1500 and add that stop loss. <clears throat> That'll make another transaction It's just good loss management, okay guys? This is how you don't get wrecked. I mean, $30 uh, liquidated, it wouldn't be the worst thing, so I could just let it ride. But if you're doing any more than that, with more money, especially money that you don't wanna lose, I would recommend uh, putting in a stop loss for sure. <clears throat> All 
All right, so we've got an order in. Stop loss. Let's see if the stop loss shows up here. Go back to the trade. It would be nice if there was a line at my trade. My uh, entry price, entry price was at pretty much exactly where it's at right now. Stop losses down here, all the way down here really, 15.10. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, with that, guys, this is how you uh, can trade inside of Vila. The the beta is open to the public as of yesterday. Um, if you didn't get into the uh, staking rewards, um, I'm not sure if there's any way to do that now, but uh, VLP, you can um, mint VLP right now and stake it if you want. You just don't get the same APRs as everybody else did on the way in, but it's still at 55% estimated, which is pretty great. Um, those, are, those are trading fees that you're getting from VLP. Um, and then Vila is the token, and then I believe you earn if you stake your VLP, which is I'm, which is what I'm doing. I'm getting some VLP rewards and uh, getting some eVila, which is the, going to be the uh, the uh, governance token. Anytime you see an E before token um, names is uh, voting typically. So. With that guys, let's see how the trade goes. I might make another video and show you what happened there at some point in the near future. But uh, thank you so much for watching and be careful out there. Not financial advice guys, I'm just showing you how this works. And uh, trade at your own risk. Um, but I wanted to test this out and show you guys how this works. So uh, good luck out there and have fun. Uh, be careful, don't trade with anything you aren't uh, willing to lose. And God bless.